Hi, I'm Daniel and I made a program that might be interesting for you. With it, you can fully automatize the starting and closing of your games with features like RTSS frame limit support, DS for Windows support and I plan to add many more things in the near future. Stick with me in this video to know how to achieve console-like flawless experience right now. On a PlayStation 4 everything is smooth and simple. Just open up your game and instantly you will get the best possible experience the machine can give you. Now let's try the same on your gamer PC. Believe it or not, but simply opening your games from Steam or from Epic Games will not be enough. First of all, I think you want to use RTSS. RivaTuner can give you smoother gameplay by removing micro stuttering. Even if you have a FreeSync or G-Sync display, it's better to have a frame rate limit. And not just any frame limiter. For example, in Last of Us, the game's own frame limiter is very bad. Honestly, I think it's a night and day difference. Finally you can launch your game, but every time you want to play it you have to open and close these game launchers. This is one of the reasons I made Playground Game Script, to launch all my games from here. Finally I can launch and close my games just like on a PlayStation. Now watch this, I just exited the game and I don't have to worry about anything, just select another game and launch it. You probably ask, how did you do this? And my answer is, I will show you. So let's open Playground Game Script and see what we can do. You always have to start with the locate button. Find the main exe file. In this example, let's make a script for Cyberpunk 2077. If you already added icons to your library, then you can select one of them. As you can see, I already have a lot of icons and you can download them from the link in the description. If you want to use a custom image, then just click custom image button and select the one you like. You can select different image modes like Fill, Fit and Stretch. If you are happy with it, you can already create your script. After testing it, you can always come back to try different settings. For example, I like to use RTSS in automatic mode, because it will always limit your frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate. This time I also want to use the statistics. I don't need a special run mode for this game. And I like to use my PS4 profile in Cyberpunk. Be sure to check the name and if everything is good then create the script. Now let's try it out.
As you can see, it's working perfectly, so let's move on to another game. This time let's make a script for Dirt 5, which is a Steam game. Icon selection is the same as previously, just use the icon manager. This time I don't need the statistics and I want to use the automatic profile again. For this game we have to use the Steam run mode. If you don't have the Steam ID, then you can search for it with this link. Let's check the other settings and I think everything else is good, then we can create the script. Now let's see what we just created. It's working great. I want to show you one last example, which is a PS3 game. So let's locate RPCS3. The game will be Tony Hawk's Project 8, so select an icon for it. Sometimes I play this game on my 144Hz monitor, and sometimes on my 60Hz TV, so I choose automatic. Let's don't forget to locate the game itself. I don't need to close Steam this time. And everything else is good, except the name of the game. Now let's create it. And test it. I like it so much that both on my monitor and on my TV the gameplay is very smooth. And I don't have to open anything else, just the game. I hope you liked this demonstration of Playground Game Script. Please consider supporting me on Patreon, so you can access always the latest version of my program. Even with a $5 tire, you can always access the latest version of Playground Game Script. And if you need another feature, then just tell me and I will do my best to implement it. Thanks so much for everyone who support this project or my channel in general.